Hey guys, welcome to a, another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be BSL Hasu League Finals of Season 16. We got Doodle starting in the 12 o'clock location as the yellow Protoss, bottom left-hand corner. We got Fisheye starting as the brown Protoss. This is on Neo Sylphid. And I have to say, it is a stunner, that last match. In the previous match, I was expecting Fisheye to run away with it just by keeping up with his macro and having Dragoons in a defensive spread. Instead, the Reaver joined the fray, got a couple shots off, the Zealots didn't engage, and you had a couple Dragoons that weren't part of the forward rally. And Doodle able to punch through in maybe the only moment he could have to take the win. That being said, still razor close between these two, because that was, granted, Doodle pulled the win out, but barely. Very, very close margins. And honestly, I felt like Fisheye just had the better build for what was being executed. Gateway first for both players, slightly faster for Doodle. Also, slightly faster probe. I'm wondering if that, I don't know if that's a mineral boosting or positional advantage. This is the one aspect I don't know, is because the high level players oftentimes will know what the better spawning positions are and for natural mining and things along those lines. What I will say is the first scout for Fisheye is heading to the 12 o'clock location and going to be able to get initial information. This might cause a redirection from Doodle, having not run into a probe as he's making his way across and noticing the probe come into his base. So let's see if he ends up redirecting his probe. It is going to be a double gateway opener here for Doodle. Fisheye has eyes on it. Looks like, nope, Doodle going to keep proceeding. Forward pylon, I believe this is going to be an attempt at a shield battery defense and still one gate into Dragoon. It does feel like the modern two gate still ends up with the, just the natural probe advantage overall. But Fisheye unrelenting. First sell it constructed is just going to blockade that gap actually going for two zealots initially but not shifting off the two gateway play so going to get the initial two zealots drop the cybernetic score should be if he, with a good swipe should be able to deny information to doodle and denying information actually will be key here because he doesn't know whether he's going up against a two gate himself or there has been the transition and that can sometimes lead to decisions around how many zealots are dedicated whether you're dedicating three or five looks like we are going to see the five dedication Three initial zealots making their way out. We do see that shield battery constructing, a probe already on the forward defensive line. So it's going to be zealots and a shield battery versus a superior gateway count plus travel time. Micromanagement is going to be huge. Fisheye needs to keep that door sealed and make sure there's never a blockade gap where Doodle can sneak those units in to get damage done. As long as he does that and holds the Dragoon over the line, could be a recipe for victory. Three probes. I like the timing from this overall from Fisheye as well, because this is going to be three zealots against in a probe versus three zealots in a probe. This probe actually returning its way home. And a full zealot spread, actually. And a robotics facility follow-up. And the probe saw the initial play, so now there's a Dragoon out, and Doodle should feel a little bit embarrassed because he's got five zealots and one of them actually running too far in. But this is, yeah, full seal now from Fisheye. Looks like he just wants to transition into Nexus, knowing that at least for the moment, he has map control. As soon as that second Dragoon is out, however, as long as Fisheye is somewhat careful, he could maybe walk the Dragoons out and start getting some free zealot kills. Two gate robotics facility transition. Doodle wanting to transition with his massive Zealot count. I, I think he's... Looks like he wants to rely on just a glut of Zealots to try to disrupt any sort of Dragoon walkout from Fisheye. The downside of this, though, is once the Dragoon count is sizable enough, it can just kind of do that walking stutter step damage. A shuttle being produced, which suggests we are going to see a robotics bay follow-up as well. Fisheye looking for blood. I do be, I do believe he wants to do a two-gate robo-push. 
and might have yeah he's got the eyes to see that there's a cannon and a nexus being built behind this and that shuttle will allow free travel over the wall again very clever build orders from fisheye the question will be execution now i have yet to see this sort of play honestly from a protoss on neo sylphid where they're just going mass sell it to deny the natural expansion in the early game and secure an expansion on the opposite end doodle pushing the gap not sure why and after diving into it just going to escape with what units he can and really, it looks like there's not even any base damage on any of the Zealots here. So just kind of expending troops. He is pocketing them, hiding them along the corner to maybe go for a, an ambush. Range upgrading. First Reaver nearly on the way. Doodle with a massive worker count. Is getting two more additional gateways down. Has range just now starting himself. Fisheye moving out is going to evict those Zealots away. However, Doodle might not realize that this is an incoming attack. Although he has one zealot pocketed, does he see the shuttle? I think he sees the shuttle on that edge, potentially. And definitely saw the robotic facility. Re-engaging now with the zealots, maybe to buy himself some time on the low ground. The Reaver lands, easy zealot kills. And now Doodle losing a lot of his ground forces. The Dragoon's pressing forward. That Reaver can easily distance shot these photon cannons. We have four gateways of Dragoon production behind this. Range a ways off. And a superior Dragoon count on the ground. It looks like those two Zelts that are split off want to try to force some troops back from Fisheye on Doodle's part, or at least deny that natural expansion. The Reaver now walking forward. The probe's evacuating that natural expansion. The cannons... Under fire, <clears throat> the Zealot engaging a Reaver. That's not a winning battle for that Zealot. One cannon down now. Second cannon shortly thereafter. Keep in mind, this is still two gate versus four gate production. Doodle desperately trying to open up that egg so he can get reinforcements across more rapidly. <clears throat> the shuttle, however, there. And Doodle now boxed out of his own natural expansion. And this is looking like an inverse of game one, although Doodle may be a slightly more defensible position. Reaver crawling forward needs to be taken out immediately if Doodle's going to have any sort of chance. Instead, it's getting constant fire on the Dragoon lines. There's GG from Doodle. And Fisheye with a quick turnaround win. And wow, we're just having tit for tat in this series. One game apiece all the way. And we're going to see if it goes all the way. This is a uh, best of seven, by the way. Love to see it. If you guys enjoy it, please give a like and subscribe. Let a friend know. Appreciate your viewership as always. Thank you for listening.